this is the live while it's it's the 12th of March and we we just saw Sleep Dealer. Um I'm Alice. I'm Louis. I'm Aaron. I'm Connor. I'm Chloe. Yeah, so Sleep Dealer's like um it's I think it's, set, it's meant to be set in the future, but I'm not really sure. It's like it's like the present, but it's the future in the present. And it's this guy and he lives in like a rural village and then something happens and he has to go to the town to find some work to get money and there's these weird like things called nodes that you implant into you and then you can like work in a place but you're not actually there and it sounds really weird but it was really good in a kind of way that you didn't actually expect where it would go but then when it happened it was like oh that's really nice I thought they left it quite vague in a in a sense and um, that, I thought it really worked well because um kind of left it open to interpretation and um, left you thinking after the movie which is always a good thing because um, you, don't, you don't want too much kind of revealed. I thought the soundtrack was like subtle but it worked really well because um, it was kind of almost, it was dark in a way um, but yeah I thought it worked really well because it was futuristic but um, kind of yeah it really added to the effect I thought graphics were rubbish because um, I don't know they were like off a computer game or something and I think it would have been better if they actually looked real like so that you could actually imagine that the person's actually there and it's not just some random mechanic thing on a game thing I didn't mind them actually I thought they kind of added to the sense of surrealism I thought maybe this is just me because I, I watch a lot of American movies yeah but I thought it did go on for quite a bit it did stretch out. Yeah, I thought the graphics also. They kind of made so you saw through his eyes. I thought that's why the graphics were there. Because if they were made to put it real, then you'd know that that you know it wasn't it, the the graphics were made so you'd get his perspective maybe. Overall, um, it's a really good movie. But and you should get the people who usually don't go to watch, you know, independent movies, you should take them to see, because it'd be quite a good way to start them off, because it's, it's kind of in the middle, I'd say, from action movies and independent ones, obviously.